morning, YouTube. What's going on, guys? Forest here, Cichlid Man 09 in the fish room on a happy Tuesday morning. We are exactly one week out from our first episode of Cichlid Man 09 Asks. One week away from our second episode of Cichlid Man 09 Asks. I need your suggestions. Hit me up with suggestions in the comments below as to topics for our next Cichlid Man 09 Asks. Couple things I need from you guys. Don't be too specific. I want everybody to be able to participate. Something extremely general. As these go through, of course, they'll get more specific and maybe more in depth. But uh, to start out, I want this series to be very general, something that everybody out there can participate in, and uh, just have a great time with it. I can't I, to say I'm amazed with how uh, our first episode has turned out in terms of the response I've gotten um, is an understatement to say the least. I, I think we're up over 500 and whatever views. The fastest video I've ever gotten to 500 views. I can't tell you how many freaking comments I've gotten. Uh, I think we're in the neighborhood of around 10 video responses as well um, from some pretty respected guys on YouTube, Cyber Aquarist, uh, Slim Tim. Very cool stuff. Thank you everybody for contributing. Stay tuned. One week from now, we're going to do our second episode, bringing it to you guys. So be ready for that. Um. What else we got to talk about? Uh, we did lose Goldie. She was over there. She just gave up her fight. Um, she was all bashed up, and she appeared if she was getting better, but she really, you know, stopped improving and then just gave up. I believe, yeah, it was yesterday when I came home from work. She was just down there and just done. So that that chapter is over with, and uh, you know. Rest in peace, she produced uh, some solid fry. I know Dogman had a male of mine. I don't know if he still has them or not, but um, where we go in terms of where the fish are located is probably my next point of emphasis um, in terms of where they're at in tanks. I really would like to get Hulk here up in the uh, 135 over there. Dude just needs some more space, needs some more love. Best Amphilophus on YouTube, and uh, can't argue that. But um, yeah, I just want to move him, which will free this tank up for a project for a fish that will fit in here. I'm thinking of maybe doing some uh, Exiclosoma Islanum. But uh, in terms of doing that, I'm not in any rush to start any new projects. But eventually I'd like to start something else. Maybe open up both 75s here for uh, new projects something that'll stay smaller because I'm just overrun with fish right now that um, get too big for tanks I mean outside of Hulk everything else is either an Umbi or a Dovi and uh, those are 20 24 inch fish check out our main man Azul and his female blondie what you doing Azul what you doing throw a pot in there give them just a little bit more decor see if she would go in there and start laying eggs here soon it's gonna be happening soon she's getting more and more froggy with him you can see him go over there and this tank looks like crap all kinds of scratched up I think what I'm gonna do in terms of I'll just sit here and chill here for a second where my fish are located I've got Mongo in the 225, um, taking up all kinds of space. I think I'm going to move the Umbi pair over there, possibly when I do my next large water change on this system, just so that when they're already stressed out, I can pull them out and do that. I'll put Mongo back. I'll put him over in the 150, because as a solo fish, he doesn't need that large of a tank. Uh, the pair will utilize the 225 so much better. But... It's going to come down to Mongo, my Magnum X, which I'm, I'm thinking of calling him P.I., Magnum P.I., and uh, my Gorillas male, Megatron. And right now, in terms of like long term, I'm leaning towards keeping Megatron out of those three. And as a matter of fact, 
I'll show you guys my revamped tank over here. I took out Megatron's female and uh, replaced her with PI, Magnum PI. Um, I just wanted to get some male on male, not anything weird like that, but just wanted to see between the two, you know, this will give me the best comparison. And uh, out of this shot right here, this boy right here is winning the, winning the battle, but you can see uh, our male Magnum X Really just wanted to get some more attitude out of him and having him, uh, you know, on the other side of uh, Megatron is really going to bring out his personality, I think. And uh, down here we've still got our Magnum X female. I'm going to throw the, the Gorillas females in here, but she'll probably just go on the other side. And um, the fish that ends up in the 150 is going to be a wet pet. I'm not going to... If I choose the Magnum X, if I choose the Gorillas, if I choose Megatron, I guess, uh, or Mongo, whatever it is, it's going to be a wet pet. A um, couple reasons why. Dealing with pairs is a pain in the ass. Um, you know, I'm a little little upset over the whole situation with Mongo and Goldie, which is part of the reason why. But the other reason why is the tank's really not big enough to house them as adults. You know, it's a 6x2 tank, which is a decent sized tank. You know, same footprint as a 180. But, um,. In terms of housing an adult pair, I'm too OCD to even house sub-adult pairs in there, you know, super long term. So uh, the fish that ends up in the 150 is going to be a wet pet, and the fish that ends up in the 225 is going to be a pair. And uh, the fish that end up in the 225, it will be the Umbi pair. Um, the thing is, is when I do want to switch the Umbies over, i got to get this freaking sand out of here. I want to switch over to gravel, so... That may be a project for me tomorrow or whatever, whenever I decide to do it. Um, just got to do big water change on this tank. Swat, switch out this 200 pounds of sand excuse me, that I have in here. Had a big old bowl of Lucky Charms this morning, so I'm burping up a storm behind the camera. Um, like I said, switch out all this freaking sand, which is going to be a pain in the ass. But... Um, I think I have a solid plan to do that, but it's going to require me to drain this whole freaking tank. I've actually got to throw styrofoam under this tank too, because it's acrylic. And I, when I first set it up, I didn't put styrofoam because I didn't understand the whole situation with styrofoam. This one's got styrofoam. But yeah, so the 225 is most likely going to be umbies. Um, the 150, you know, is in a battle between Megatron, Mongo, and my Magnum X. Simple as that. Um, the 135 is more than likely going to be Hulk's tank you know he deserves it I know it would be cool to put a pair of something in there but in the end you know he's my most beloved fish he's your guys' favorite fish by far and uh, you know he deserves a tank you can see we got a little action going there's our boy Megatron but I'm definitely going to start seeing a lot more attitude out of both of these guys. Um, just going to bring out the inner beast. Because really in the end I think it's a battle between those two. Um, I'll probably end up selling Mongo. Just how it is. You know. On looks. I'm, th I'm thinking both the Ma uh, Magex and uh, Megatron are both going to look look to be better show pieces for the permanent fish room ideas and like I said that'll free up 275s for either uh, grow outs for uh, Rio mags or uh, possible other projects you know I said Islana Trimax are a hot fish right now that I wouldn't mind trying um, there's a good bloodline going at the wet spot right now that I could get for pretty inexpensive that are some sick fish um, other than that oh Facebook page is up for his cichlids. Go check it out. Um, don't really have a whole lot going on there yet. Still got to put some uh, some uh, whatever. Got to post pictures and videos and all that crap. But this, the the page is up, so you know you guys can contact me through there as well. Probably a little easier to contact me through there. But uh, for cichlids Facebook page is up, so go over there, like that, send me a friend request, whatever. However, the whole Facebook thing works. I'm, I've been on Facebook, but 
I'm just bad with that whole situation. But you know, the way my channel's going, figured figured it was about time, and uh, you know, it's up, and ready to go. Gonna be sharing pictures of my fish, you know, videos I post, you know, new projects. Uh, it'll be a lot easier for me to get information out of my fish room to you guys without, you know, having to come in here and do a 15 minute video. I can just go on there and post up some stuff and, you know, share pictures and whatnot. So go over there, like my page, all that crap, you know, whatever. If not, just stay watching my videos. We're getting close to 850 subscribers. Thank you very much, everybody out there. Having a great time with it. Uh, should be getting in my new air pump tomorrow. Um, excited to get that thing hooked up and get my air system blowing at full bore. Like I said before, it's going to up me to about 100 liters per minute, which is... This is what we get all day from these two right here. He's just a total prick right now, and I do not like it. I might even just pull her out of there completely and just let him be alone for a while. Jason over Freshwater Predators told me to divide him. Um, just got to get some divider material. Just like a lot of you guys, I'm sure, dividers end up getting broken down and moved around and blah, blah, blah. The divider that's in the uh, Umbi tank over here was for the 150, but... I ended up cutting it down to fit it, and it's just a stupid situation. I just need to get one divider per tank and, you know, leave it at that. I'm just too lazy to do that. Let's see if we can get some uh, feeding. I'm going to set the camera down here. Sorry. Let's see if Megatron's hungry for you guys, since I'm just blabbering now. See if he'll eat some carnivore sticks. He's probably a little stressed out because I was in here taking his female out yesterday. Yeah, he's not not too enthused about the situation. Hulk will always eat for you. Here, grab some more carnivore sticks. Super excited about my new project, fish food that we've got coming. Something that I want to be sharing with you guys as soon as I get it. Super pumped about the opportunity I've gotten and. Uh, couldn't haven't been I have not been more excited to uh, about a fish food brand we'll say that got a new brand coming in something that I think is gonna change how I do things and uh, change my search for a new fish food I've been searching for the ultimate staple type of deal for so long you guys know that I'm big into fish food trying to figure out what's best for my fish and ingredients wise percentages wise the pellets options um, that of this new company that I'm going to be working with um, it's definitely going to change the game at least in my fish room and hopefully I'll be able to share it with you guys and help you guys out in your fish rooms as well very cool stuff Hulk's been going to be getting himself a new diet love this fish check him out not really a whole lot more to talk about other than just sitting here and doing nothing. That's the great thing about YouTube, guys. I can sit here and just videotape anything I want to. And if you guys want to watch it, you can choose to watch it. If not, you can turn off the video, whatever. All the good information is done anyway, so if you want to turn it off, whatever. The true fans are the ones still watching now, so. For all of you true fans, I love you. Every single one of you. sit down over here and test our zoom a little easier to get Megatron while I'm over here and of course when we zoom in this close it's got to auto refocus every five seconds there he is going as close as we can with our zoom and see what we got. That's about as good as it's going to get right there. Check out the freckling on our Magnum X. Magnum PI. Beast mode. Check that. Good shot right there. Kick it out a little bit so it won't focus so much. There we 
go. That right there, that shot right there is why this fish is still in my fish room. And you can see the two. Love how dark Megatron gets when he goes up there and starts displaying. That right there is a Magnum X male, which is a Location X umby bred with a Rio Magdalena umby. So it's two different locations bred, almost a crossbreed type of deal, but it's not because they're two of the same species, just different locations. Now the real true fans are still watching. Most of my true fans probably turned the video off by now because uh, now we're basically talking about nothing. But I don't care. It doesn't matter. Just so you know, guys, I always start my morning with... Let it focus here. If you guys aren't subscribed to the Retin Link 2 channel, Go subscribe to them. I love starting my day. Good Mythical Mornings back. Come in my fish room, watch an episode on my phone. Just a just a good way to start your day. Had a nice big bowl of Lucky Charms. And I uh, watched some Good Mythical Morning with Hulk. And uh, had a good time with it. And we're just going to keep rolling. I don't even care. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Who cares? Whatever. Let's sit over here. Get some shots of Mongo. Mongo also may stay in the fish room. I don't know. I may move out the Gorillas and the Mag-X. And just hold on to Mongo. I've had him longer. It means a little bit more to me. He has, however, gone through two freaking females. Freaking ridiculous. He will never be bred again. Unless, you know, something falls into my lap or whatever. There's a good yawn from him. And the way I see it, there's nothing more impressive than a monster dovi. Um, umbies are beautiful, but impressive wise, monster dovis are beasts, so you never know. My real mags may be my only umbies moving forward. I have no clue. That's the great thing is I have options and I'm not in any rush to do anything. Um, zoom back in for you guys. Sorry about how loud that click is with my freaking zoom, but whatever. But like I said, um, Mongo, you know, he means a lot to me. He's a beautiful fish. It's basically a 33-33-33 split right now. Maybe a slight edge to Megatron, but uh, only slight. It's not really as big of a as big of an advantage as it may seem. I think, as far as potential, I'm more excited to see what will come from my Magnum X male because there is not. I can't think of any uh, freshwater predators line Magnum X males off the top of my head that I've seen pictures of and uh, I may have one of the only ones out there so potential wise I may have one of the only um, off that line so rarity as rarity goes my mag x male is probably my most rare fish I can't tell you how many freaking beautiful gorillas out there are out there and uh, beautiful dovis are somewhat dime a dozen um, once they get into that 15 inch range they become extremely rare any fish once they get in that 15 inch range usually becomes extremely rare people just can't house these fish luckily I have an opportunity with my 150 to house a fish in the you know 18 to 20 inch range because it's 24 inches wide and you know plenty of space for a fish that size a solo fish at least we're almost 20 minutes this might